so-called Republican plan to deal with our transportation crisis. And I can see why voters are so cynical about politics and <coughs> politicians. Last week, Republicans had a plan, prioritized progress. We agreed the transportation system is in crisis. Key for us to get real money on the table now to start fixing this before it's too late. Last week, they had a plan that said they had to put $700 million via borrowing on the table in order to get this started. We said um, we agree. There's a $700 million a year crisis. We got to put that money on the table to get this started. Today, they came out with what they call a long-term plan. Long-term plan said, let's do a little more borrowing and then wait and see. Let's do a little more borrowing and study this. Let's do a little more borrowing and maybe talk to transportation and to see what our needs are. And ask Joe Giletti uh, maybe to prioritize some of the bridges. This is why people are so cynical. If you don't want to toll, say it. If you want to borrow, say it. If you don't want to do anything, say it. You know where I stand. I believe strongly, and I'm putting my shoulder to the wheel, that the most important thing we can do is to get this state moving again and growing, is to put money behind a transportation plan now that gets this state back on track. That's why we've been at the bottom of the barrel in job creation for a long time. And I'm not going to let politicians uh, hide behind yet another study. That is not the way to get this state going. So I'm going to get everybody to cast a vote. They can say no. They can say kick the can down the road. They can say wait. But they're going to make them cast a vote to get this state moving again. I think I put forward a plan. You know where it stands. 40% paid for by out-of-staters. Money on the table to get our roads and bridges fixed and speed up our rail system. Something that labor and business agree is so key to our uh, economic future. Last week, the Republicans agreed we needed $700 million a year. Today, they're saying, let's borrow a little more and let's study it. Let's not study it. Let's get going. That's what I wanted to say. Thanks, everybody. Governor, what are you feeling right now? This is maybe the most emotional and passionate that we've heard you about an issue. What's going through your mind? What's going through my mind is these guys were elected to come to Hartford to make a decision. And what I just read is we can't decide, and we don't want to take a tough vote, and we want to wait a little bit longer, and let's get back in a couple years and let's study it. And uh, you're right, I do feel passionately. You elected us up here to make a decision. I've given you my best idea how to get this state forward, and they're saying, oh, let's wait a little longer and hope this problem goes away. That's not why I'm your governor. I'm here to deal with this problem right now. Republicans were saying that there's no infrastructure plan, so even waiting on doing tolls, there would still be a wait on getting that revenue, and then where that revenue would go, the specifics aren't there. So they're saying they want to see the specifics before they actually bring in that revenue. They said that two years ago, and four years ago, and six years ago. They said, let's not pay for a study. Now they're saying, let's do a study. Joe Giletti's right here. We know what bridges are about to collapse. We know what's going on with Metro North. We know where that money's got to go. We know how to pay for it. The other team has said, let's study it. They're also you, saying they're throwing out $1.9 billion this year. They'll still start July 1. They're, they're saying. saying, let's do just what we've been doing for the last 10 years, only let's borrow another $375 million, put that on the credit card, and let your kids pay for it, because we can't figure out how to, we want to pay for it. Hey, Jane, a bit of hyperbole when you talk about the bridges that are about to collapse, I assume. Otherwise, we're going to ask your commission to identify what bridges are about to collapse right now. I don't think I said that. What I did say is you have bridges that have been deemed structurally deficient. We know that we are inspecting those every day and we're keeping them safe for people. We also know that we better deal with this over the near term or we're going to be in trouble. Are, are you are saying... The private leaders have all the details they need to run a bill in the next couple days? Is there anything more they need from you to have a vote? All they got to do is ask. If they, if they want more detail, come and ask. But right now, the... Um, Chairman, have the bill. It's ready to go. I urge them to do it. And I salute Marty Lodi. I mean, he read this thing and he said, I'd like to see something bar uh, bipartisan, but I'd like to see a real solution. That's what the president of the Senate said. And I think by implication, he knows just borrowing and studying is not a real solution. Are you saying the Republicans have no backbone and they're just trying to study this, just trying to push this off and avoid a tough vote, avoid a tough decision? Is that what you're saying? I think so. Hey, thanks, everybody. Thank you, Joe, I thought I'd save you from the...